Welcome. Today, we'll be discussing one property of a right triangle. Given a right triangle, if we consider the midpoint of the hypotenuse, let's put that in here in our diagram, let's call it E, this midpoint is going to be equidistant to the vertices. How do we show that? Let's start by extending some of the lengths of this triangle, and let's consider this figure as if it was a rectangle. So let's draw a horizontal line on B. And let's draw a vertical line that passes through C. Let's erase what is left over. By doing so, notice that now we can consider this figure as if it was a rectangle. Now, if this is a rectangle, then we can start using properties of rectangles. So let's consider the diagonals in a rectangle. Let's consider our first diagonal here. And let's consider our second diagonal right here. Now, what are some properties that we know about diagonals in a rectangle? Diagonals bisect each other. Let's actually introduce a new point. Let's call this point F. And if that is the case, then we can say that AE is equivalent to EF, which is the same measurement that we have for BE and we have for EC. And if that is the case, then notice what we have shown so far. The line segment AE is congruent to the line segment BE, which is also congruent to the line segment of EC. So what are the distances from the center of the hypotenuse to the vertices. Notice that those are the line segments of BE, EA, and EC. Well, we have already shown that all of those sides are congruent to each other. So essentially, we have shown the property that we wanted to show. We have shown that the midpoint of the hypotenuse, which in this case is point E, is equidistant to the vertices of my triangle, which in this case, the vertices were point B, A, and C. Hello. If you would like to continue to learn about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.